Welcome everyone to Juno with Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out a video, a very long video. This one is entitled Hala Thai and Street Food in Bangkok. Of course, amazing Thai Korean roti food. Oh, of course, I believe this one is Mac Queen also. I'd like to thank you guys for requesting this video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to Juno with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go. You can just smell all of those spices and I love that how there's just like floating curry leaves in there. There's floating eggplant, there's okra, there's tomatoes Ooh, and it's made with delicious. fish. Wow, in my meal meal I had today. I love this dish. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Someone told me Mark Wind isn't gonna put any videos, he doing any food in the video that he don't like. I was wondering for true. Hey is everyone, there I hope you're having an amazing like, day. Like, it's Mark Wiens. I'm in this video Bangkok, is like, Thailand, love and this them. morning is there I'm gonna go walk like? around and explore the historic wow. Bang Rak area. And uh, specifically the area right around Harun Mosque. Very and around this neighborhood, street. this community in Bangkok is where you'll find some of the best halal street wow. food. And Hello. people they literally do all the cooking oh like right here they do the cooking in their houses and they sell right out of their houses we're gonna just walk around explore nice. find some delicious Simple things to eat and, very nice. and meet some amazing people and i'm gonna share it all with you in this video the harun mosque was built harun mosque. Uh, by harun bafaden and he originally came from indonesia wow. uh, he's indonesian arab and then they settled in this little community That's so nice. a little bit early before the main market wow. opens. We're gonna start by eating some roti mataba, which is a stuffed roti. That and looks delicious. It smells That's amazing. That's what we have for bikes. For bikes. <laughs> and this is such a cool spot right here. There's like right there, bikes passing right there. That's, that's a big scene there. That's a very big scene there. Wow. Croc? Look at that. Nothing is going to be at all. Wow. That looks delicious, for sure. You speak Thai, right? Thank you, just a little bit. That's nice. Wow. And then they put it in there. Ooh. Today is a lot of food. This looks delicious. Wow. Could eat a couple of those? Do you know that it's good to use the eggshell for your plants, especially tomatoes, which in calcium? I can tell you already that one of the best delicious. things about eating wow. and walking and exploring this community in Bangkok. Is I must try this. So nice. People are so friendly. It's like home cooking, and you have a, a personal connection, and, wow. and you you meet so many amazing people. It just doesn't get better than this. Sitting in a beautiful, friendly, calm, and relaxing alley. <laughs> Eating mataba, Ooh, but nice I'm starting tea. with a tea, a milk tea first. Wow. Mm. Oh, that looks hot. Really, really, oh, really, really no, 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 I don't like hot tea. that strong oh. tea, and I got it with no sugar, so it's not sweet. No. The motorcycle is like right there. Oh, they're parking there. Oh. Oh, the mataba is here. It's ready. She sliced it wow. up. And we ordered with chicken. There are onions in here. There's egg in here. This and just that delicious. perfectly golden, Mix. bubbly, wow. crusty, crunchy <laughs> dough all around it. And if I take a piece here, Almost you can see like that it's roti. just a stuffed roti. It's like a, it's like a little pocket full of, full of goodness. I don't like hot meals at all. <laughs> Do you notice something? When Mac eats, mm. one of the eyes... <laughs> <laughs> One of the eyes still schools of it. Not like overly what? powering in spice. I don't know if you notice like also. A little bit of turmeric in there. The egg. Watch it again. Kind of tastes like scrambled eggs because it's been beat up like that. And then you've got minced chicken. What I really like about this is it's full of Watch onions, it which are just lightly Watch cooked. Watch one eye. Uh, it a crunch and a fragrance. Like one eye is slow. Oh, it didn't happen there. But when one is like, mm. wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's one the eye which is like slower, network, closing and opening. The most filling, especially when it eats. So you got the most Nothing meat wrong, just an observation. Like, this is a delicious mataba. Definitely made with love. Okay, I'm gonna try the sweet roti now. <laughs> and this is just a roti and then they kind of hand tear it. Wow. And then put on some condensed milk. Um, so yeah, this is the sweet version, but you can see how, how just crusty and wow, how tasty. many layers of dough there are in this roti. You see the eye again? <laughs> you saw the eye. Oh, notice for yourself. That's awesome. Notice whenever like, I eat something, we have perfect. almost like so twenty something crunchy, minutes to go crusty, still. So notice when I eat so something gooey. for the first time. If like sweet, one of his eyes this is the takes the time to, to open. One faster like than the other. One. Watch the other. The version to go with. 
but best yet, get them both. Chase it all down with milk tea. Milk tea, that's not sweet. That's very nice. I like this setting. Wow. Very simple setting. As we're sitting here eating, the owner just brought us a bowl of dal, dal? which is it just finished cooking. What? Oh, immediately you can smell the cinnamon though. Watch, watch the eye. Okay, mm. the eye didn't happen there. You can taste the onions. <laughs> You can taste the cinnamon this in there. Is so, so interesting. And maybe the curry leaves. I taste some curry leaves in there too. Curry it's leaves. a leaf that tastes just like curry. And in Thai, it's called bai mui. Bai mui. I want to hold on curry leaves um, all day. Back leaf in Thai. Very nice. <laughs> what is it that? That is a big pot. <laughs> What's in there? What? These are some serious ingredients. Ooh, pilau. We call this pilau. You know the best part of the pot is where the rice burns a bit at the bottom of the pot. I don't know why. I we are not it. making it very far in distance on this food tour. Literally right down from where she's making the roti. Uh, they, while we were eating at the roti, actually they rolled. They Look rolled at the, the size giant of pot. That You could pot. smell the spices of the biryani just filling the humidity. Wow. They have beef. They have chicken. But one that you don't find very often is fish. Um, and it's fish. king mackerel, blansi. You will not walk through this alley without stopping wow. here. Who's coming to my house? Wow, my name is your fan. <laughs> Go inside, please. Okay, okay, sure. The owner of the house right here within this gate, uh, they just came out because they're ordering some biryani as well. And they, they watch our videos and they just invited us to come <laughs> please inside. Please go inside, man. It's really, really nice of them. Uh, we're gonna get. Oh, we got it. We got our biryani. I'm going inside. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Couple <laughs> of Thank you very much. Wow, that's a very bright, beautiful. We had originally house. bought our biryani in a plastic bag, um, and we were gonna eat it outside. But the, they've invited us inside, <laughs> and actually, they you can step outside with your own plate and put the put the rice and biryani on your own plate. So I'm just gonna she's gonna dish out again. Wow, two points. Oh, that I tell you the love that Thai people have is so amazing. Look at that, they just invited him to the house. I was like, come and start eat with us. Oh gosh, such awesome people. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is so nice. Nice to meet you. The family here are so gracious, I know. so welcoming. Because we have beef and we got fish. And then they I mean, also got an extra amazing. dish that uh, they've made, which is a Burmese style curry. That this one is delicious. the beef. Oh, and gosh. how she scoops oh, it in there, wow. you can see just the caramelized onions, you can see all the spices. This what is I like so is the color amazing. of the rice and how fluffy the rice looks uh, while well, just having wow. that slight oil shimmer. This is amazing. This house is so clean. It's mellow. Wow. But it's there. Such a clean and house. And the rice is so fluffy. And you taste that like salty, wow. the salty onions and spice mixture. This is the difference that really makes it more of a, a Thai style biryani and that sets it apart. It's a mint and coriander sauce. <laughs> Add some of that. And then you can hey, I got a video about this suddenly too. And mix it with the from rice. Doing a video in the alleyway oh, yes. too. In a fancy neat home like that. Invited by your fans, right? That is awesome. We have some oh, home that looks delicious. Here. That reminds me of home here. There's cooked. onions and there's chicken. Oh, chicken and potato. Wow. Oh, this is like a. This looks delicious, yo. An extra. Ho 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 ho. Oh, you can see those onions are wow. so soft and tender as well. What the eye? Just really light. <laughs> and really the eye, like, like soothing. <laughs> there's a delay. A very light spice mixture. Wow. And then I yeah, like those that onions yeah. really just dissolve in your mouth. I can see yes, myself making that right now if we had at the same time. And okay, and we also got the but, fish biryani. You know, and is and that a you, can, one? you can come really close in here. Well, there's the rice. The fish? Um, but then, there, then there's the meat or the fish. Yeah, it looks and like then fish. there's this gooey stuff, which she adds to every plate. Wow. And the gooey stuff is what you want. 
that is where the flavor is. That's the onions. That's the spices. Wow. That's like the and residual the flavor that dish. powers the, the right entire there. dish. So every bite, you want to grab a little piece lettuce? of the meat. Normally, you would like this take some fish, meat and chicken and um, with some a little lettuce bit of and mix it. And it's good to eat lettuce. And then add on some sauce. Like you have the lettuce leaf. And then you want to like a ratio of all three of those components to make the perfect bite. That is. So it's king amazing. mackerel, so it's almost like like firm like chicken, very, very firm. And then that onion spice mixture is really key. Oh, and the sauce. That which gives it that um, tanginess to wrap it all together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not the Oh, you can use the cloves in there. So oh, wow. That's so This is what happens when you eat nice people in Thailand. A lot of nice people in Thailand. A lot of nice people in Thailand. Thank you. Bye bye. Couple more cup. That is so great. Couple more cup. Oh, what a great okay. experience. That was just 100% unplanned. unplanned. <laughs> family was I so welcoming it. and so friendly like and so gracious. Right now it's about 10 a.m. and this good, is the good time video when more and more there. food opens video up. Video so right along there. the main uh, walkway, there should be more food set up now. This alleyway is being utilized 100%. Everything. Everything. Wow. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Next up, we're in this alley How restaurant. It's at the back of the alley. It's the home in the back here, and they have tables this, set up that you can sit at throughout the alley as well as in their house. One of the main dishes that you have that to eat fish? here that they're known for is their gengali, That's which fish. is uh, a type of curry which is in this pot. You can smell oh. all of the curry leaves and the spices. There's fish in there, there's okra. Hey. Oh, that's. Oh, that looks I have delicious. To eat that. It smells so good. It's very healthy, too. Wow. The chicken? Oh my god, take it easy, man, your hand. <laughs> oh, this curry wow. is mouthwatering. It is irresistible. You can just smell all of those spices, and I love how wow. there's just like floating curry leaves in there. There's floating eggplant, yeah. there's okra, there's tomatoes, and it's made with fish. fish. And then we also got uh, fried chicken egg with uh, kunk gang, which is a curry paste. Look like or, eggs and chicken. Fish know, exactly. eggs. It's, it's like it's like fried chicken with with uh, spices What's that all thing over. On the okay, the first thing I need to do like is just take a, fish eggs. a scoop, take a spoon of that curry sauce. Oh, don't do this. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> oh. oh, that's oh, everything what? I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just like the ice again. Oh, it has a sour flavor to it. It's what I like is that. It's not like too rich wow. or oily, but it feels. And then you mix it with it rice. Healthy, you know, today I was having a meal with someone, all of those spices and they told me like, really it's better when those you curry leaves again. Let's just give it up. Separate and add it to white rice. Like just purely cooked in your white mouth. rice. You can like smell and that, that in your mouth. That makes such a nice mixture. It's really an extraordinary curry to eat. You'll mostly find this dish this is a very quiet at Muslim uh, halal, halal restaurants. It's very quiet. And it is. Well, it looks like it people it's, actually come so in here to good. buy their food. It's not like a place where a lot of people gather to eat, but people will know mm. that it's there and they come mm. in there to look someone's on a food. <laughs> that just soaks up all of that curry. This is Gaitad Kringali, which wow. is uh, fried chicken with like, it's it just like cake like in uh, a curry paste with oh, a okay. spice mixture. And you can and you see that on there. there? It's fried Mind chicken, it and I'm not sure what's all on there. But I know it looking like that fish eggs awesome or too. something. Anything fried chicken with extra spice on it, you like you know, it. You know it's going to be good. Oh. Is it hot? <laughs> oh, that's a boneless piece. Ooh, this is a chop, chop, chop. <laughs> I think like a bulk of it is also the coriander seed in there as well. Yeah, it looking like that's something then, in there. It's, a, it's just like a light fragrance. It looks like fish egg, honestly. A little bit crispy. Nice and salty, of course, and just just that that spice mixture is just like caked and caramelized on there. I'm that just absolutely so nice. in love with this curry. It's it's everything you want in a curry. It's so fragrant. It's so flavorful. Wow. It's it's stunning. And then something you've Looks just got to love about this delicious. curry as well is just how they have the floating vegetables in there. The tomatoes, the eggplant, the okra. I am telling you, it looks delicious. Ooh, <laughs> take your time to eat the mac. <laughs> Ooh. I love this dish. It's, like... it's one of my favorites. Oh. 
But if I put a wow, just see this nice, healthy looking fish. Whoa! Oh, that sauce looks so bright. Oh my god, 3.36 US. I'm going to tell you, wow. That is such a simple, simple, simple that video. Curry, that fish simple. curry is awesome. Unbelievable. I, I love the flavor. Again, the family is so nice. They're cooking right out of their yeah. home and just selling uh, right outside their front door. That is good. So That's what I'm telling you. It's like so another generous, popular incredibly place for people to gather, the but they okay, know the meal is being sold there. And it's He's going to try the, another one. Uh, the stalls are pretty relaxed here. People kind of kind of open up when whenever they're ready. Yeah, um, um, And then more and more people should be coming here, but I think more of the stalls are starting to open now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that coconut sauce? No, this looks like the curry Indian style food. How come some of the women have their hair covered? Some don't. Like, I don't know. Oh my god, this looks so Oh my gosh, it is so bright and orange. The curry that's in there, like that. It has rich curry in there. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, next plate of food. <laughs> the family who we met earlier on where we ate the uh, biryani. They said this is one of the best places to eat curry. And they have a number of different curries. You oh, just choose whatever you, know what? you want. They serve it over rice curry, or lots so of people get a takeaway as well. One of the dishes looks almost identical to masaman curry, which is a very well-known uh, wow. Thai Persian curry. But they said it's not actually masaman, but they call it geng hindu. It just looks amazing. Wow. Looks so good, and then oh, that potato is so incredibly soft as well. Oh, the, are you hungry? I'm getting hungry. I am so tempted to run in the kitchen and cook right now. Okay. This looks delicious. Oh, that curry is awesome. <laughs> masaman curry is usually quite sweet, and even though that looks exactly like masaman, it's wow. not sweet at all. It is a little bit spicy. You can taste again that dry that spice mixture. So Definitely looking. lots of turmeric in there. And I got a nice chunk yeah, of potato actually, I'm that's very, very yeah, soft I can't wait and creamy. To I might have to ask her to add some more of the curry sauce though because as I sat here and talked, it sort of absorbed into the rice. <laughs> I gotta get some more sauce. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh wow. So nice. The food is nice, the food oh, oh, oh. is nice. I love it's awesome. Oh, I can't oh, I'm wait so to go happy there. to have more sauce. Wow. And you gave me another thing. potato as well. I am dying here, Manga. The meal looks so delicious. That curry is a winner. Oh man, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. she, she didn't tell us to pay. I'm starting Thank to get really full. That was another extraordinary <laughs> plate of food. To pay. I'm pretty oh. sure everything you see here is delicious. <laughs> she didn't but let when you come here, this so awesome. is the dish that you don't want to miss. And this dish goes fast too, so they bring it here. It's already half sold out just wow. within like 30 minutes of being open. Jeez, it is man. Delicious. a stunner of a dish. Wow, why is it ice cream? Looks like ice cream. Looks like ice cream. This is a dessert that we had to try. It's very well known in this neighborhood and she makes the original version. It's called Six, So Yi. And cents. I've never had it before. It's, uh, let's try it. It looks like a pudding. And wow. I have no idea. Don't throw it down, Emma. Be careful. Wow. Oh, wow. You can see like a texture in there as well. Looks like ice cream or yogurt or something. It smells a little milky. Of course it does. But that's really, it looks like really all I can smell. Is there anything on the bottom? Or no, it's all solid through. Oh no, it's all solid through. It's like a, it looks like a, what is that? a pudding or like a porridge almost. Yeah. Look at that texture. Yeah, looking like um, cream of wheat here. It looks like cream of wheat. Mm. Delicious, isn't it? Mm. It's, it has sort of like a, uh -huh. almost like a cornmeal yeah! porridge. Yeah, I told you, it's like cream of wheat. It looks like cream of wheat. Little like beads almost. Is it like cream of wheat? It's a little bit sweet. It's, it looks like uh, a little Honestly, bit like caramely, milky tasting, almost like a vanilla pudding. Wow. <laughs> it's extremely well known in this neighborhood too. When I say I'm um, Max, I, I don't mean That's his eye like his eye, like his eye so much good to eat. One is dealing good enough when the season journey is observed.
the best things about this entire community wow, I, is that I, I everybody knows like each that. other, everybody oh. is so friendly, yeah, and it has I, such I an incredible like community feel. I mean, we're right Looks in awesome. historic central Bangkok, surrounded by skyscraper buildings, uh, but this hotel. is just Whoa. a little oasis of history, friendly people, delicious halal food. Ying just bought a, a sarong right over here um, for her grandmother, but it has wow. such a such a friendly, such an amazing feel. Can you show us those sarongs Ying, that you just bought? <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. This one, nice. Oh, batik nice tech. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a colorful. Um, this is wow. actually batik from Indonesia. Wow. Oh, that's nice. This is for Ying's grandmother. Very nice. Oh, look at that setting there. So beautiful and neat and clean. Oh, wow. I love the fact there are so many plants. There. There's a noodle stall which is back down this alley, which wow. the, the family also told us hey, that I'm we quite have sure. to eat there. Uh, I have to properly leave, budget so when I'm coming to Thailand that because be I'm quite sure I'm going to spend all my money in one day like all this food. <laughs> it's called Gwit Yao Po. This is a dish Ooh, I've never tried before. Wind leaves. It's very rare to find. First, chopped on some lettuce nice. on the bottom. And then she put in some bean sprouts wow. um, and then a handful of the wide rice noodles, which is called senyai wow. thai. Then she added on some chicken, which looks like it's just been kind of blanched. Yeah. Um, then some shrimp, which have been cooked in their their own juices. And then she added on uh, some peanuts and some dry shrimp, as well as some uh, toasted fried garlic. And then also she added on a bunch of herbs, the mint basil, leaves. you've got yeah, the, the mint, sweet basil mint. as well as a bunch of mint, mint as well. And then yeah. she added on some uh, pekinu, which are the, the tiny bird's eye chilies. And then it's also served with the, the sauce wow. on the side. Oh, she's going to open my sauce for me. Okay, okay, all the sauce goes on. Oh, beautiful. And I think you... Okay, and then mix it all up. It is so mix nice to hear about the noodles. Time. Speaking to It's like a noodle mix, a noodle salad. Refreshing with all the herbs and the shrimp and the peanuts and noodles. That's almost like okay, photos in a Where's my, where'd my chili go though? Oh, there we go. Here's a guy. Enough chili. Why some chicken, you... some, some noodles, some, wow. some herbs. <laughs> The lighting there is doing very well. It goes well with his convection. That right that's there. a, the a noodle salad. Call and everything. The noodles are sticky. I got a shrimp in that bite. The sauce is a little bit on the sweet side, but also kind of tangy. And then I love all those herbs, the mint, the basil. The herbs are what make it for me. Mm. Wow. Oh my God. Very refreshing. Right. It really eats like a salad, but at the same time, it's, it's you've got some hearty healthy. noodles in there, it so it's a little like more filling than just a, just a vegetable salad. That is oh, so nice. Perfect. Hey, this fish fry is hey, so beautiful. Hey, look at that. It's called Kanambung Yuan, uh -huh. and the batter is a mixture of flour, egg, and coconut milk. And uh -huh. then she, she spreads that out throughout the whole wok, so it's a really paper-thin sheet. Uh, does that count? And then she adds in, uh, there's cilantro, there is, Tumeric, is coconut it? with the mankung, which is the shrimp head oil, the shrimp head uh, tamale. And then she adds in some tofu, she wow. adds in some bean sprouts, some peanuts, tofu? and some uh, pickled I heard of it before. radish. Or I think it's pickled radish uh, and then she <laughs> folds it up into a package so all those ingredients are wrapped within that that pancake like crepe wow. and then it's served with a ajat which is a, a vinegar with cucumbers and chilies and shallots wow oh that's still that hot and fresh so delicious. i'm gonna let's just cut it in half though so that we can all see the insides, the interiors of this thing. That is so amazing. And it's like a, it's like a big jumbo pocket. But you can see it's all filled with vegetables, all those vegetables she had in, and lots of bean sprouts, the yeah. coconut in there, and the cilantro. Okay, and you have gotta add some of the hot which is the, the sauce. The sauce. Oh, and some of the cucumbers and shallots. <laughs> wow, this looks like a very healthy and delicious meal. All right, wow. let me try some of, some of this. Oh you can see it feels like an, it sort of feels like an omelet, but at the same time like it sort of feels me, different. I have to do my hands because, because it's, it's got so the coconut milk in it and the, the, the flour, it. so it's more like a mm. an egg crepe. Wow. Oh, I like that. The bulk of the dish is bean sprouts, which have just been lightly stir-fried, sautéed, so they have a they wow. still have that full crunch. 
Ah, uh, but they're sauteed at the same time. I like that fact the that they're making vegetable meal so and the, very beautiful the and the shrimp juices. juices. And then, what else is in there? Oh, the tofu is in there, but tofu. it's a very firm tofu. Um, tofu. I heard of that before. And then you've got those tofu. pickled tofu. radish crunches as well. I can't remember, but I heard of it before. Oh, Mac, this, this, this video is awesome. It's making me hungry for it's sure. Awesome. I know, dude, it's, it's awesome. Exactly. It's, it looks like it's going to be filling, but this is actually quite light. Who is it? Kind of fluffy. So and I guess you can eat a lot like then. Crunchy and vegetables. It's a lot. The kind of bung is really excellent. The noodles is also very good. I love that mixture. But it depends on how much of that dressing you add, how sweet it will be. Wow. So if you add all of the dressing, it's a little on the sweet side. It was a little sweet for me. Oh, nice. Uh, so next time I would add a little bit of video less them of that dressing. The plants. That's nice. Okay, wow. we are just leaving, and I think I have to finish this food tour for you right now out of by default. <laughs> oh man, I am just you so much food. It's been so fantastic. We've met uh, so many friendly people. Very I much think so. we know about half of the community here now. But people wow. are so nice and so gracious. It's so refreshing. Kapun makap, sadikap kapun makap. I want to say a huge thank you Kapunmakap to everybody who we've met, wow. um, including the family who we were eating right down there and they just invited us into <laughs> their house to eat. I know, uh, that is so great. So I want to say a huge thank you. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, <laughs> what's up man? How are you? Ooh, friends. Okay, something to just quickly tell you is that if you come here, you'll find the majority of food within this entire community is all halal. And you wow. can come here any day of the week but it depends, not not everything will be open. You'll find the most food on Friday from about uh -huh. 10 a.m. to about 2 p.m. because wow. more people come into this neighborhood to go to the service uh -huh. at Harun Mosque. And so that's why there's the most food on Friday. Oh, that's gonna be okay. it for this vlog. I wanna that's say a huge thank you for, thank you for watching sharing this video. This Please night. remember to give it a thumbs up if subscribe you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my and class, subscribe to Jinx for just a commentary. Subscribe, Definitely. I'm gonna be publishing lots more food subscribe. and travel videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Awesome video. Thank you very much guys for requesting this video. It was a great one. Of course, the food looked so delicious. I'm quite sure it tastes even better. Of course, I'd like to thank you guys for request whatever video that you want me to react to by leaving a comment below. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Thank you so very much. Bye guys.